pilots managed to eject from the plane before it crashed into the field behind me around 10.30 on Friday morning. There were two pilots on board, an instructor and a student that were on a routine training mission. We were alerted of the ejection uh, quite quickly after it occurred and we launched a ground search party immediately. Both survived with non-life-threatening injuries, but one was taken away by STARS Air Ambulance to Regina General Hospital, and the other was taken away by ground ambulance. The crash happened about 50 kilometers southwest of Moose Jaw on private property. It involved a CT-156 Harvard II aircraft, which is a turboprop trainer usually used with student pilots. The names of the pilots have not been released, but we do know that one was a flying instructor and the other was a student from the Royal Canadian Air Force Base in Moose Jaw. The Department of Defence says the circumstances leading up to the ejection and crash are not known, but says the Director of Flight Safety is involved and an investigation will be launched. I'm very proud of the response. I mean, we, we lost an aircraft today, but the most important part is that we saved two pilots. So we're all very happy in the 50 Wing community. I mean, great response from CE or our contracted partners here with the ground search team. STARS Air Ambulance launched and was there in very little time. Uh, and most of all, of course, the families are grateful that they've got their, uh, their, you know, their, their loved ones back home uh, safely. So it's, it's, uh, it's a sad story to lose an aircraft, but actually you can replace aircraft, people you can't. Flight operations will be shut down pending further investigation. However, there are no normal operations scheduled for this weekend. Jules Knox, Global News.